Guys, Done. guys, what? What? Let's do the wave. Okay. That was no. really dumb. The wave with what? Uh oh. Ooh. Wee. How cool did that look? <laughs> Back to our stupid rags with the of Corbin. Maya! Ashley! Alexis! Rick! And you can follow us on Instagram yeah. and Twitter! Juicy content. It's so juicy. Stir the pot, everyone. Stir the pot of juice. Stir it up, juice. Stir it up, juice. Stir it up, Don't touch the bag. Juice. It's gonna fall on us. Oh my. I didn't do that. Don't, Don't touch the bag. There's a page guy, that's where I go. Stir the juice. <laughs> Today, what, what are we doing? Put down the onion, sir! <laughs> We're going to be back into a food video. We are. We are not eating food, but we are watching food. Oh, I can almost smell it. <laughs> onion, sir. I hope you're hungry. I am. Oh, yeah, I'm so hungry. Because you're still going to be hungry after watching this. Say what? This one's called what? India Mega Food. Oh, no. Record breaking dosa, Ooh. 250 egg omelet, and more in Mumbai. Who could eat that? I could. I could. 250 <laughs> eggs. I could eat 250 eggs. Every Here day. we go. Maybe he's gonna put down the onion and tomato and he's gonna <laughs> kind of push them out and then he's gonna crack just tons and tons of eggs in here. I mean, if you're gonna cook for a lot of people at once, this is the way to do it. Come by. Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we are going on another fun food adventure. This time we are in Mumbai, India. Yeah, the teen of the universe. This city is home to some of the most giant Indian oh, food oh, I have geez. ever seen. Today Whoa. we are hunting down some food on a scale like you have never seen before. I can't wait to Let's try it. Today we're joining big that. in Mumbai, India. Starting off with the world's biggest dosa. It's a little unwieldy. The no. world's most gigantic non-veg tali platter featuring oh. over 45 items. Oh, jeepers. I, and finally, the baby looks like a picture of that. The creation we'll try of an omelet using 250 eggs. We we are here in Mumbai, India, cool. looking for the biggest, baddest food, which has brought us now to Dakshi Nayan, where they're making the world-famous, world-record-breaking dosa. Let, let's go eat it. We're headed into the kitchen to see how this thing is made. Let's check it out. Right this way. Oh, okay. Uh, this here. Right now I'm in the kitchen with the chef Sarvan. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Today he's making this giant dosa here, known as the family dosa. But today it's gonna be made for a family of one. Right here. This guy. Let's do this. <laughs> this is freaking massive. That's like a meter long. I just realized some of you might not even know what a dosa is, so we're gonna jump to a different location and I'm gonna show you. Oh. We are at this street side dosa stand where they're making just a huge, crazy variety of dosa, one of which I'm about to get. A dosa is like a kind of crepe, but made okay. with finely ground rice and lentil flour batter. It can be served plain like the giant dosa we're about to try, or with an endless variety oh. of topping combinations. Do you want shredded beetroot? Yes. Go ahead. How about potato? Yes. We can do that too. Or how about American chop suey dosa? Maybe. Let's see what that is. <laughs> so right away, he's going to come with the batter. Then some cabbage, spring onion, onion. Oh, this thing is loaded up. But so far, so good. And then the nudes. We're dropping tomatoes, <laughs> tomato sauce, Szechuan <laughs> sauce, red chili powder, uh, garam masala, salt, uh, tomato chutney, and a cow. heaping scoop of butter. And that's oh. what I like to see. A lot of butter on, on almost everything I've seen here. It's amazing. Yes. All this random stuff that I've like put together yeah. is gonna taste amazing. Let's ask these guys over there. Buddy up. Yeah, all right. It's bubbling up. You can see the little bubbles oh, in slow motion right now. Man. It's making you hungry. You're it's salivating. Like You're clicking the like button. You're subscribed. <laughs> this is the most important part here. Yeah. Nice. Well done. A flip oh. and a Ooh, chop. That's and he's gonna toss that right here. Okay. And from there, a couple of sauces. We've got a coconut chutney love and some sauce. Off. And just like that, thank you, sir. <laughs> passionate about wow, that looks tasty. Glorious. Oh I'm cutting it up with a spoon, getting a nice big no, shirt. We're putting our coconut chutney here, one of my favorite it's chutneys that. of all the chutneys. Oh, Try it out. 
Mm. Yup, yo. yo. Buddy up. Yeah, buddy. Buddy up. Very nice. But that is a storm of a heartburn. I could actually <laughs> top this with some Pepto Bismol and then it would be a perfect balance. The flavors are outstanding. Tomato y peppery. And that dosa is like nice and kind of soft, bready, a little bready, a little crunchy on the outside. Mmm. Mm. Oh. Mm. So now that we know what a dosa is, we're gonna go back and see the giant dosa. And now we're back. So that's what a dosa is, and this is a huge version of that right here. He's gonna be curling this. Now he's just slathering it with a bunch of butter. That's my favorite. Yes, he is. Okay, so now he's, he's rolling it up. Oh, what a move. This thing is like a meter long. He just rolled up the whole thing. Okay, this is the really sensitive part. It requires two plates. I'm following that guy. really fragile. Oh, yeah. this gigantic dosa. This is just the plain dosa, but we've had some nice different assorted dipping sauces here. Tomato chutney, a coconut chutney, onion yeah. chutney, and then here, this is kind of a stew. Sambar, maybe I can dip the whole thing. And this is probably the most <laughs> practical way. You gotta put it in a little bit of sauce. <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> That's exactly what I would do. Is this the right way to eat it? Mm -hmm. so How much is mm. it? I, it's like I got some in my eyes. It's like a giant beef, but more crispy. Super buttery. Oh, he was giving some butter love to this thing. I just yes. wish it's a little unwieldy. It's kind of hard to hold. I don't think you're supposed to do it like that. I don't think so either. You're supposed to share it with somebody. Okay. That's all good. Either end. All right. Oh. Yeah! Like that was right satisfying. Put some, Put some it rice in that. that thick dough stuff. You have to be careful with the chutney. Once in a while, you'll get one that's just like pure garlic, and it'll, it'll choke you out. Oh, it's very nice. Oh. Light, refreshing, creamy, garlic. coconut Me too, I don't think it's going to stink like garlic for days. <laughs> I'm going to keep working on this, but let's go check out some more giant food, huh? Okay. <laughs> Next up, the biggest tali you will Go find in Mumbai. What is I Our mission that? continues looking for the hugest food here in the Mumbai. Huge, like with our first, first now to video. Mini Punjabi with a side restaurant. Where well, they are making oh, can't get it here. I know. Tali. tali literally means platter. But when you order the tali here, you get a gigantic assembly of crunchy. different cups, bowls, oh, yeah. plates of all kinds of different foods all together. Let's right. go inside and learn more about it. This oh. place has food bloggers oh. knocking down their doors. But I was oh. lucky enough to get a behind the scenes look with the man who created this magnificent beast. Right now, in my kitchen with Nishan, the creator of the giant tali, which is actually called the... The Dara Singh Thali for you guys. Can we talk to you about the Dara Singh Thali? Our giant Dara Singh Thali is basically a 26 to 28 inch Thali, mm -hmm. which comes with more than 40, I think 45 to be precise. We've covered different cities, okay, from the northern region, mm -hmm. which is like Amritsar, oh. Delhi, Rajasthan, and we get the favorite dishes from those cities. Mm -hmm. Our head chef here That's is preparing a whole Muslim rice. It's basically steamed rice with a particular dish so for Muslim. So he's just adding the chicken, oh, he's just adding the spices. This that here, not a plate of steamed rice, along with the mushroom sure. as a gravy I'm with chicken pieces serve. served on top. This whole portion will be on the platter. Right? Yes, yes. Like yes. this by itself already looks like it could be a whole meal. Definitely. If you can finish the entire platter, the thali, the normal zara singh thali, it's free. If I can eat the whole thing, yes, it's gonna be free. Nice. Oh, well, yes. but how many normal people can this feed? Around four people. Four. Can can I I better feed take down the whole platter. Stick around to find out. Can we try this one now? Definitely. Definitely. This is made fresh for our eyes. I cannot yeah, wait, tasty. so we're going to try some right now, right here in the kitchen. A lot of pressure. So we'll try some tasty right chicken now. dinner. Are you those guys over there? <laughs> hey, let's try it out. Oh, it's amazing. That is ridiculous. I mean, just taste the skill. So How many people eat that with a spoon? Like the number of spices I'm right here. Me, that you would. So well I want some non eating my fingers. Flavor. So amazing. You would see right here. India just has such beautiful, vibrant spices, flavors, aromas everywhere you go, and especially right now in this kitchen. From here, we're going to see them assemble yeah. the giant tali. Like the yeah. assembly has begun, but you think when it's done, you think I'll be able to add that. I feel yes. Let's hope for the best. Okay. And see the hard game. Like All right, let's see. At first glance, and with an empty stomach, Is that a cocktail? taking down this platter in 20 minutes seems what? pretty doable. I mean, it's just some different breads, a bunch of curries, and they're all served in these tiny bowls. And there's the chicken and oh. rice and this. 
And this, I'm not feeling so sure anymore. They are right now putting the bread punches on the dolly downstairs in the kitchen. Corbin yeah, loves bread. I do like it's an entrance. Oh my God. Favorite food? <laughs> you. It requires two people. <laughs> He'll legit take a you slice of bread and just eat it. You got it? Oh, yeah. sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me get out of your way. Oh, jeepers. I don't want Indian food now. Look at this. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That is nice. gorgeous. Oh, so the the raw main onion. reason I gave oh. you was just to be able to sample a ton of different stuff, but it turns out <laughs> this is also a food challenge. It's 1,600 rupees, so it's coming in just under $25. That seems like a pretty good value to me. <laughs> yeah. You can eat the whole thing. And that could be your whole The only catch is yeah. you I have to do it box. in under 20 bucks. minutes. We paid that for That's for one here. person in Los Angeles. E easy. The rice here. The rice is the main issue. And then here, there's like another clay pot. Yeah, they would rice. charge at least a hundred dollars. A couple of oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was here in LA. Yes, we we lamb, which would be curry, comparable yogurt. to 7,000 rupees. Lamb. I love curry. I love yogurt. I've never had all those things together, but it's about dang curry time. Curry and yogurt. So oh, see how much damage I can do in 20 minutes starting right now. So you already lost two seconds. Uh, and if you're like me, I didn't even know what mutton was until I came here. Oh, and so lamb meat is nice called and lamb. Lean. Nice and lean. It's lamb so is called a sheep Stop and it's meat is called mutton and it's gonna go in my mouth. I bet it's delicious. That's delicious. It's been ah. a minute 30 already. I haven't done anything. So here we have a mint chutney with coriander too. We're gonna put our mutton in there. I wouldn't want to rush it. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't want to rush that. Mm. Oh, wow. No that's way. Awful. I'm gonna just gonna sit and eat. And then this is, um... Take two hours to eat that thing. And it's just like drinking yogurt. Oh my God. How could anybody <laughs> rush this meal? I can't... I yeah, just want to exactly. enjoy everybody. I do want to try my favorite kind of yogurt here, of course. It is the lamb curry yogurt. Let's try that out. Oh, that's tremendous. It's like a little <laughs> lamb meatball in there. Am I almost lamb done? Lamb yogurt? Yeah. Never had it. From lamb milk. Oh, here we have some fried I bet it's fish. it's glorious. It's looking a little spicy. Oh, fried oh, fish. fish. Let's find out. Fish fry. Mmm. I'll wash beans. it down with some yogurt. Yeah. We've got some delicious fish bread here. They have every kind of curry good. here, except it's for steak curry. Is this, what is this what is this? <laughs> a hot dog curry? Just kidding. If I made curries, I'd make a, a hot dog curry. <laughs> Five minutes have gone by. Oh, we're getting there. We're really, we're almost done. Uh-huh. Is that a cocktail? What is that? Somebody made a drink out of cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> that huge cast iron pot. He wasn't only cooking the bread in there, but he put also oh. inside the chicken. We're gonna put some of the chicken in this chutney now. Oh. Chicken chutney. Beautiful. Grab that powerful. Bread. I need to chase it. Cut it with some rice. Okay, this is a soup, chase but it's in a cup, so you can drink it. That's the best soup drink I've ever had. Here they have white butter. I just want to try the butter. Yeah, eat it. It's so creamy. It's almost like cheese flavored butter. Mm. We're going to put some of this green curry on there. Slap it all together. Oh, oh man. Roll it up. Food gasm. Burrito. Mm. Dip that into the yogurt. Oh, my oh, word. Really tasty. Butter chicken, onion, that's green chutney. You got to combine it all together. <gasps> oh, God. Almost done. Chicken biryani. Here we go. Oh, oh, eat it all. So Amazing. good. It's so fragrant. We gotta, we gotta pick up speed. Oh, Put the and yogurt here, sauce on they have pickled that. chicken, guys. They pickled, pickled the chicken. chicken. This is bread stuffed with potato. Oh yeah, let's try this. Pickled chicken. I want to try. Wow, that is delicious. You gotta drink some yogurt with it, though. Look at this. This yeah. bread. It's stuffed with it's potato. potato this bread. is already like yeah, half a really kilogram bread. itself. Oh, there's so much I haven't even tried yet. Put it with the bread. What is this? <laughs> oh man, I'm full. The crunchy stuff. <laughs> 1730. It's almost over. Hey, thank God they have a time limit because I want to die already. So here we have kichidi, a mix of lentil, rice, and vegetables. This and a little rice is already a meal. We've had a lot of this. This is just better. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's like savory. That's like comfort food. This comfort food is making me feel uncomfortable. I'm very full. We have one minute remaining. We're still in the game, guys. Look, that. That. There's a lot of food. I'm going to try some of with the rice here. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's very filling too. I try almost everything now. I have some more fish. Dude, bud. A little bit of tummy. That's it. I can't do it. 20 minutes has gone by. Now listen, I thought this was maybe possible when I just saw these little bowls of stuff. Oh, what is this? Yes. Is this more food? Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> I want to say thanks, but I also want to die right now. Is oh, this part dessert. of the challenge? Oh, oh it's 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 so I like that they so thought I would even get close to finishing this. Well, listen, um, we gave it our best nice. try. <laughs> and so always remember, chase your dreams. Oh. Next time you are in Mumbai, why don't you come to Punjab Lakeside to try this whole feast. Oh, We're doing that. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're doing that. Right. But, so even if you fail, you still have enough food to bring home and eat for the rest of the week. That's not bad. The end. <laughs> Today's 
last stop, we're hunting down an Indian mega omelet. Uh, we came to our final location, <laughs> and here they're making a gigantic, like basically like food. an Indian scrambled eggs. Okay, we've got uh, eggs, tomato, onion, and it's like, well, what's so special about this? Oh, I don't know, that there's gonna be over 250 eggs cooked at one time on the skillet right here behind me. The prep is underway. They're cutting onions, they're cutting onion. tomatoes. Oh. We're gonna go inside and see exactly how it's done. It's My man right here, cutting it's onions. Tough. No baubles, no protective <laughs> anything, and no tears. This is a, a real man. Oh, God. How do you do it? This is a real man. Sir, how do you do it with no tears? Can you ask him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's just like, mm -mm -mm. No tears, not since 1984. <laughs> like Corbin. We asked him, why is he not crying? He said it's destiny. I like this guy. Tons of onions, like baskets of onions are gonna be cooked and put into the eggs. That'll make Let's you cry. Right. He wasn't even looking, did you notice that? Yeah. So here we have the tomato cutting. In this room, in the kitchen, they have two giant skillets. And it's somewhere between like a wok and a flat top. It's called a tawa. And there's two of them here. As you can see, this is no small Whoa. cooking operation. Like. They go big here. So this is like 20 kilograms, like almost 40 pounds of onion. Whoa. And around 10 pounds of tomato. That's what I'm told. Oh, yeah. And this whole thing you know, is for us. They just put in all these spices, chili powder. He continues to just mix it all together. There's some parts of the onion that hasn't even touched the grill. Thank you for having us here. Nice to meet you. Look at that beer. Oh, this is the owner of the shop. What is this one called? And he's cooked down the onion and tomato, and then he's gonna crack just tons and tons of eggs in here. That is some mad egg cracking skills. Yeah. One handed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Can you get it? Can you get it? <laughs> ah, that egg was tricky. I know. The first, like, maybe 30% of the eggs are in here. And he has That's started nice. scrambling them together with some of the onions and tomatoes. There's still that like ring on the wow. outside keeping everything in. He's created this natural bowl and I believe he's gonna put in even more eggs now. Yeah, round two. Can I crack one egg? Can I just wanna say that I helped, That's all. I basically made it myself. Did I? Oh, again? You gotta try one hand. <laughs> Bam! Yes! Look at this, it looks ridiculous. Time to destroy the beauty. After the first step is done, he starts mashing small portions of eggs. He then adds more butter, spring onion, and spices. You can just smell the fumes coming off here, singeing thy nostrils. Then more mashing with well fresh done. cilantro. Finally, it's a moment I've been waiting for. Oh, thank you, sir. But the eggs aren't complete without some buttered buns. Oh. We were just in that kitchen for about 30 minutes right. during that whole preparation. I think my eyes are, are still watering oh, a little man. bit from all the spices and onion. But it was so, all so worth it because we have this complex, joke. yet simple, wonderfully executed scrambled eggs I've ever seen. I'm gonna try it with just the eggs first. The scrambled egg? Yeah, basically. 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 Oh, oh, scrambled oh, eggs, oh. onions, tomato, and seasoning. That is, that makes me happy in my mouth. <laughs> Super salty and spicy. These are some of the spiciest scrambled eggs I have ever had. He I fried and yeah. buttered this bread for me. That's really how you're supposed to eat this. You just scoop up some of these oh. pieces of egg. Look at that, you can thing? see the chilies in there from the yeah, oil. You're right. The butter, all of it coming together. <laughs> that right is, I'd wake up for breakfast for that every day. I can make I would legit. I need those that spices. Is amazing. That, you know, it's kind of a simple thing. You know, it's simple whole foods, it's eggs, it's scrambled eggs and bread, but the seasoning and the carrot love and skill that went into it, the love. it makes it super special. And the butter. Um, crazy delicious. All I can say yeah, is tasty. Oh, so good. So good. Oh Thank you. My Thank you so much for watching this video. Woo. This video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip Vietnam is a company shadow. putting on amazing Great tours shadow. by John's Danae and Meg. Wow. Oh. My is anybody goodness. not hungry? I want to get lunch now. Well, yeah, good. but now the problem is I'm hungry, but I want Indian that food. Yeah. Yeah. You're not getting that here. Ugh. That's no what I, I've seen that. I I heard it as a mukbang. Maybe there's different names for it. Uh, <laughs> but that thing with all the different dishes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've seen that before, but it's really difficult to find. You definitely can't get it to go, so <laughs> no, that's for sure. No. Um, but man, we will definitely try that when that we come to Mumbai. That looks so good. Oh. That was actually one of the best episodes. Yeah, that, that was, was everything in there. Absolutely fantastic episode. Um, wow. I wasn't like. Is that Matthew McConaughey? What are the
<laughs> that looks nothing <laughs> like him. Wow. Not that person. That dude yeah. right there. That looks from nothing angle. like him. Over here, it looks like him. Because you're blind. It does kind of. Thank you. What was your favorite uh, food? Oh. Ugh. Yeah, if you had to pick one of those things that you were gonna try, I would I would pick the big the big oh the big thing the yeah big sure thing. probably yeah the bread <laughs> the bread yeah. the chicken garlic naan. naan I am obsessed he did with the, the butter biryani. chicken and the chutney and the, oh. the all of the naan and then the rice and he put the yogurt <laughs> with it with the rice and the chicken it looks so good it's, so good. it's like hallucinating yeah yeah. I need to get some Indian food for uh, for, lunch. for lunch. Even though it won't it won't satisfy this no, craving. Not exactly the same. Not because close. this is American Indian food, but ah, uh, man. Hey, it was good. A lot of it was good when we tried it. That's true. I mean, I think it's great. It's probably not, not like that. In comparison, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but wow, wow. What are you shaking your head about? <sighs> I want that, and I can't have it. <laughs>